What's going on guys? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. So I'm working on a project right now that I'm building out of MDF. And when I go to paint it, I want to make sure that I get as smooth a finish as possible. And well, I'm sure as you know, MDF is not exactly known for its paintable qualities, for taking paint really well. Um, the surface does okay, but the edges, that porous edge, if you try to paint it, it just, it absorbs paint. It turns out really kind of fuzzy feeling and it just does not paint well at all. Um, a lot of that has to do with just the way MDF is made. It's just a bunch of glued together wood fibers. And especially on those cut edges, you can really, that roughness is really just those fibers. You try to sand it smooth, you're, you're never really gonna sand it smooth because of those, because of the fibers in the MDF. The surface does, like I said, does okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you just paint MDF untreated. Then I'm gonna show you the method that I prefer to use when it comes to paint and MDF. And then I'm gonna show you guys another method that I've seen people using with varying results. So let me bring you in closer and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so here's the paint that I'm gonna use for this test. It's just some Rust-Oleum spray paint. It says paint and primer, um, wood, metal, plastic, more, whatever. This is, I'm just gonna use, I had this laying around, so I'm gonna use this as a test. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this side untreated. And then the method that I like to use, I like to use this Kills Premium interior exterior primer. It's a high fill primer, it's a stain blocking primer. And this is what I prefer to use when painting MDF. It really kind of seals those wood fibers in, especially along the edges. And what I like to do is, you know, give it a coat of primer, let it, let it dry, it takes about an hour or so. And then I sand it down and I actually use like, it's like a 600 grit I have on here, just enough to knock down any of the, the rough surface. What the primer does, especially along the edge, it locks in those wood fibers. So when you go to sand it, like I said, with 600 grit, you're not trying to take the primer off, you're just smoothing it out. Hitting it with the 600 grit will just smooth out those standing wood fibers and give you a nice smooth finish. The third method I'm gonna try is using some of this sanding sealer. And I've seen people use this with varying results. Some people will use a sanding sealer and then follow it up by a primer. Some will just use a sanding sealer and then paint. Um, I'm gonna try using the sanding sealer and then just painting. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna apply the sanding sealer along the surface, along the edge. Then once that dries, I'll come back and I'll you know hit it with like the 600 grit and maybe do another coat if needed. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get start getting this kind of all set up. I'm gonna get this section primed and this section coated with the sanding sealer. All right, so I let everything set up. It's been about an hour and a half. It's kind of chilly here today, so just gave it a little bit more time. It says about an hour, but I gave it an hour and a half. Um, so it should be ready for the next step. Now, normally I would have applied that Kills primer with like a foam roller like this. I just didn't have any. I just got back from the store. I actually got some of these for the project that I'm actually working on. So that's what I would have used, and that would have eliminated, you know, there wouldn't have been any, any lines in it like there is right now. I would have given just given a much smoother, more consistent finish. But for demonstration purposes, this should be fine. Um, now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a light sanding with some 600 grit, once I get a battery. 
And uh, that'll be just to kind of, like I said, take all that, especially along the edges. It'll get, it'll knock that fuzz off. It'll make it nice and smooth. And then it'll be ready for paint. So let me grab a battery and I'll give this a light sanding. <laughs> All right, so with everything sanded down and cleaned up, I gave everything a good wipe down. I vacuumed it up, wiped it down uh, with like a tack cloth, removed the tape just because. Now I'm gonna spray it with this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. Like I said, this stuff, uh, my wife had this for something else and it's been sitting around for a while. So I don't even know if this can's any good, um, but if it is and if it works well, I may just use this type of paint on my project, but. Get this thing ready to go, we'll spray it and see how it turns out. All right guys, so I've got three coats of paint put down and let me see if I can get you in here to show you the different quality of the finishes. Now, don't judge the stuff in the paint. <laughs> I've been doing other things today, making a lot of dust. So some crap got in the paint. This was just a quick demonstration. So don't judge it on the quality per se. Uh, just go by the finish, not the quality. You'll see. All right, so this side here is the MDF untreated. So you can still see a lot of the, not that there's really a lot of texture on the face, but there's some spots that are still kind of rough. Um, try to give you a good angle of the light there. Like here you can see it, it didn't, the paint didn't take real well. And there's a few other spots, but overall the surface of MDF paints decently. The the uh, problem though is the sides. Now I've tried sanding this between the coats with, again, with like 600 grit, and that is still really, really rough. Um, you can still feel a lot of those fibers. So obviously you wouldn't want to paint or try to paint untreated edges of MDF. Here's, the, all right, here is the side that I just used the sanding sealer. Now, this side, for some reason, it's had just as long to dry between coats and up to this point, but it still has a bit of like a, like a tackiness to it. Um, now, I guess I don't mind some of the, the dust nubs and stuff in here. I've been doing a lot, doing some other woodwork. So, like I said, there's, there's crap in the paint. But overall, the, the finish is smooth. Um, but it's just, it just, it seems like it's taken longer to fully dry. It's still somewhat tacky in spots. Um, and there's still, you still see some of the divots just in the face of the MDF. Um, again, the edge, the edge turned out pretty good. Um, I don't know how well it's showing up in the light here. Probably not all that well. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So... Yeah, I'm not sure, really sure how well that's showing up. Let me try to. So there's the, there's the edge. Um, don't, like I said, a lot of this, some of this has to do with the cut quality. I just ripped the piece off. So it's got, you still, I didn't sand it smooth to get rid of the saw marks, but the fit, the, in some spots it took really well. Oh, that's the, that's where the tape was. So over here, it's really smooth. Um, like I said, these are divots from the actual saw blades. I so don't mind those, but it sealed the edge pretty well. But again, it's still, I mean, there you look at that. You can see there's still, it's like, it's still wet. And this has had a long time to dry today. So I don't know if that's, if it just settled there or, or what, but so the, the sanding sealer itself does a pretty good job. So here in the center is the kills. And this is the, the way that I prefer to paint MDF. Um, like I said, normally I would roll it on with a foam roller so you can still see some, some brush marks in there, but that is super, super smooth. 
Um, yeah, I this is like I said, this is my preferred method is to use kills. This turns out really, really good. And again, the edge. See if I can focus. All right, guys. So it's the next day. And I was editing the video last night, and I just really wasn't happy with how the kills primered section of the MDF turned out. I felt it just, with the brush marks and just everything, how I, I honestly, I kind of rushed through the whole thing, and I just was not happy with the results at all. I felt, you know, I can do better, and I thought you guys would want to see something that turned out better. So... I redid it. Let me show you. So I took another scrap piece of MDF and this time I actually rolled on the kills primer with a foam roller like I would normally do. And then I sanded it with 600 grit and then I painted it and I actually did two coats of that same Rust-Oleum paint that I used earlier in the video. And here's how it turned out. It turned out so much better. I mean, that thing is perfectly smooth. The edge I mean, look at that. That is perfectly painted MDF. I mean, that thing is butter smooth. I really couldn't be happier with that. That's how it should have turned out yesterday. I just put on too much paint. Um, so that's, that's my fault. But uh, again, this is definitely my preferred method is using some of that kills. Uh, it's a... Uh, Stain blocker, that's an interior and exterior primer. Um, the project that I'm doing right now is in the bathroom, so I wanted that extra, extra protection from the exterior. But Kills is definitely the way that I prefer to seal MDF for paint. So there you go, guys. When it comes to painting MDF, it's all in the prep work, just like pretty much any other painting. MDF just takes a little extra prep work to get it to the point where you'll get a nice, smooth consistent surface or a nice smooth finish in your paint job um so it just takes a just takes a little bit of extra prep work and with the right materials and the right the right uh primer or the right surface prep mdf can turn out super super smooth appreciate you guys for watching hit that subscribe hit the bell i'll see you on the next one